All right, look, I'm not going to sit here and lie to your face. I got a problem, man. I really like bags. But the good news that comes from that is when you're looking for a stylish and functional bag, you can holler at your boy and I'm going to let you know what's up. Let's do it. Today we're looking at the Thule Subterra series. Well, it's not the whole series, but I got a couple items from the Subterra lineup that I wanted to show you guys. Look, got this bag in the house, and when I first got it, I thought it was kind of small for a duffel. It's a, it's a small duffel bag to, I guess, larger duffel bag standards. But when you open this thing up, it's like, oh my God, that's a ton of space. This bag, this is, this is like the smallest, biggest bag you're ever gonna find. But if you're a bag or just like me, you want me to hurry up and get into this thing so I can show you what's up. All right, all right, let's start with the shoulder strap. Now, when you have a duffel bag, particularly duffel bags, cause you pack a lot of stuff in them, they get heavy. You need some good durable material. You wanna make sure it ain't gonna snap on you and it's gotta be comfortable. So they cover both here. Man, look at this. They got this thing attached, like it's it's attached, okay? It ain't coming off. You got a rigid plastic swivel hook here, and then that goes on to the nylon strap. It's a typical nylon strap, but then here is where it gets kind of fancy. You know how most straps have the padding where it just kind of wraps around the nylon? This one's a little different. It stays put in one place, which I didn't know what to think about it at first, but then when I tried it, I was like, this is genius. Why don't they make them all like this? So it's kind of curved, so it kind of wraps around the top of your shoulder. Got some company branding right there, but then this design is pretty slick too. You can't, you know, that's that's sewn on there like that. But they took the inside of the padding, wrapped it around the outside to create that design. And it's kind of rigid, but it sits on your body perfectly. This thing is made for carrying heavy stuff on your shoulders. Now let's come back around to the front of the bag. You got some company branding on the front, but then you see the stitching right here. The stitching is so fly, man. I like the angular design. It actually adds to the space in the bag. It's kind of crazy how they did that. It's stinking genius. The whole bag is kind of a, a ballistic nylon material. Now let's go around to the end caps of the bag. So right here, you got these, it's it's like a handle. I guess you could use this as a handle to carry it whichever way you want to. That way you can just snatch it up. Maybe you're at the airport and this thing is coming around the carousel and you just want to snatch this bad boy up and go. You can snatch it from either side because they're on both. But then right here, if you need a little extra room in the bag, and I'll show you this again in a second, you just unhook that hook right there and it creates more space in the bag. But let's go ahead and put it back down because I like it like that. That way it looks more like a duffel. There is nothing around the backside, it's just the bag. But let's go over to the front because I got some more goodies for you. Right on top of here, you got this zipper. All right, first let's talk about the zipper. This is a super high quality zipper. It's got some company branding on there. It says Thule, but yeah, this, this is a sturdy zipper. So don't you don't gotta worry about that getting hung up or nothing, but you got a nice soft touch pocket in here that is big enough to fit a Galaxy Note 8. So you can put your super phone in that pocket if you want to. But in here, I got some stuff. Let me see what I packed up in here. Yeah, I pre-packed the bag. How else were you gonna know how much you could fit in it? I'm about to demonstrate to you right now. Now I'm gonna keep my floss in here because you know, Lord knows you don't want chicken and broccoli hanging out of your teeth. So you need that floss in there. Now, got some hand sanitizer here because everything's nasty nowadays. You just be catching stuff. Got some gum for the stink mouth and some energy stuff right here. Put that to the side and now let me make sure the pocket's empty. Now this is something pretty unique. So it, it has these magnetized handles. All right, so they stick together just like that. Why is that even necessary? I'll tell you why it's necessary. Because typically handles are a little bit longer on a duffel bag and they kind of just flop all over the place and then you gotta kind of collect them as you go. With this bag, the handles pretty much stay close together, but they actually clap together just like that and they're always ready to go when you are. That way you ain't gotta feel around and collect your handles when you're ready to grab it and go. Now I know you wanna see what's in the big compartment. Look, I packed three days worth of clothes and some boots and some mother gear, but I didn't pack my chonies and socks in here for those non-spanish speaking people out there chonies means your draws so they're not in here because i don't want to show y'all all my business but let's get into this thing but we got to get past this lock i love this about this bag the lock does not come with it but you have these um little loops that your lock can fit in so let me go ahead and unlock it real quick and then you see that let me get the camera in there okay you see that you see how those loops go together like that that way you can stick your little uh, traveling lock in there and nobody's all up in your business at the airport. Once again, we got some really high quality zippers. Do not be concerned about these things like locking up or getting stuck on you, anything like that. I trust these zippers 100%. Now, let's dig into my bag. All right, let's pull out the belt. Now, like I said, I packed for three whole days. So I got three shirts in here. And I packed three different kinds of shirts. I have a t-shirt material, another t-shirt long sleeve, and then this is a thin sweater. That way to add some bulk, just to see how much stuff I could put in here. Put that to the side. And then we have three pair of bridges. 
For those of you who don't come from the South, britches means your pants. Got two pair of khaki material pants and a pair of jeans here folded up nice and tight like. Now for the boots. All right, so when I travel, I do not like carrying my shoes like loosely in my bag because that's just nasty. You be walking all in bathrooms and public places and stuff like that. So I like to use these uh, protectors for my shoes. But just to show you, this is a full scale pair of boots. I'm an 11 and a half or 12. And you know what they say about guys with big feet. They ain't got no room in their bag for the shoes. But this bag has plenty of room for my shoes, so let me just go ahead and put them down right there. Now we got some more Subterra gear in here. I'm gonna put it to the side because I wanna talk about it later. I am not done with this duffel bag. All right, so inside, you see you got that bright yellow. That way you can see all your stuff and it's contrasting. Hey, there's my other lock. I was looking for that. Anyway, so nice bright yellow. There's only one pocket in here and it's a big mesh pocket. But before we get to that pocket, let's open up these hooks right here because this actually adds more room in the bag should you need it. And it kind of turns it into like a, like a weekender kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a satchel kind of bag. You see that? Is that fly or what? So it'll actually travel like this and it actually adds more cubic feet to the bag. I'm not sure how much, but it adds enough. I packed all that stuff in this bag earlier and there was still room once you open it up this way. But let's go ahead and get back in it. Ah, Subterra, what is it about that name? I, I had to figure it out for myself. I don't think it's in any of the descriptions of the Subterra line, but this particular bag is actually padded. I don't know if it's because it's a Subterra bag and it, you know, it's good for keeping your stuff warm, but it's padded. It's almost like a soft cooler. It's 100% padded all the way through and it acts as an insulation throughout the whole bag. So if you're traveling in cold weather, at least your stuff is still gonna be warm because it's padded and insulated in here. Or if it's super hot, maybe your stuff will stay cool if it's cool on the inside. The whole bag is padded. But that also makes me feel good about putting my camera or my tablet or any kind of other tech I got in here. Because, you know, when you have a bag, sometimes your tech gets to the bottom of it or something like that. You put it down, now you've cracked something or broke something. This whole bag is padded. And I thought that was a cool added feature. And it also helps keep the structure of the bag. Everything is just nice about this bag. But that's pretty much it for the Subterra Duffel. Let me put it off to the side because now I want to talk about the toiletries. You can't just pack a bag for three days and not think about bringing no toiletries. Tui's got a solution for you. They came up with the Subterra toiletry bag. Now you can see you still got that same hardcore heavy duty hook on the front. I'm gonna open this thing up so you can see. When I first saw this thing, it was, you know, it was flat. It was coming out of the package. I was like, there's no way I can put all my traveling stuff in this thing. But they figured it out, man. They are masters of maximizing space in small bags. I don't understand it. It's just wizardry. Anyways, they got that same kind of stitching that creates space. There's some crazy engineering going on here. Anyways, let's look at the top part. So we got my toothbrush and my toothpaste right there. That's why I would put that. So you close that back up because I'm not trying to pull that out and get my toothbrush all nasty. I chose this pocket because it's actually ventilated and that way your toothbrush can actually air out and dry. But right in here, before we move down, we have this hook. That way you can hang it up, uh, maybe in a closet or something with a hanger or, you know, wherever you are. But this is actually just open on the inside of there. So it almost acts like a secret compartment. I don't know what you're going to stash in there. I don't know, but <laughs> it almost acts as a secret compartment. You see, it does not go through that little hole right there. It is, it's on the back side of this pocket. So there you are. Now this compartment right here is all zipped up. So let's go ahead and unzip it. Now we're all up in my business. You got a stick of deodorant here in this back pouch. Let me see what else is in there. Got my comb. You know I got to keep that beard crispy. Got my comb right there. Got some beard balm. And that's it for the back pocket. Now let's open up this mesh pocket right here. Another breathable pocket for you. Got to keep your razor in there. Got some chapstick. Keep them lips moist. And I always like to travel with a few Q-tips. Man, you got to keep them ears clean. You don't want all them sugar babies coming up out of your ears when you're on the go. Let's put this stuff back in here because I don't want it all over the place. I ain't trying to make that big of a mess. I got another bag to look at. So let's move down to the other side. Now this is not a mesh pocket. This is actually kind of a waterproof pocket. This looks like mesh, but it's actually plastic. So I'm gonna call this the water resistant pouch. I got a full bar of Dove soap still in the box. That way you can kind of understand the capacity of this pouch right here. It's actually, it's really big. They've done a good job of maximizing the space here. Let's put that to the side. Then got some Cologne, some Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I be smelling good, man. That's why the ladies can't stay away from me. Then you gotta have that lotion, man, cause I ain't trying to be ashy in them streets. Let me put that back in there because this is the pocket where you would wanna keep the stuff like cologne or maybe some lotion or something that if it opened, it would ruin your day if it got all of your stuff. So I'm gonna keep all that stuff in here. 
and seal it back up. And you got two loopholes right here. If you, if you don't have that much stuff, you can cinch this bag up pretty tight. For this occasion, I've got it pretty stuffed, so I'm gonna use that last loophole right there and it hooks in just like that. Nice and compact, and you see that it fit in that duffel bag with three days of clothes in it and some boots. So let's put this thing off to the side and then we will go into one of my favorite new bags. The Subterra Power Shuttle Plus. This is a cool bag, man. Let's take a look around the back first. You got a mesh pocket with a little slit right there and I'll show you what that's for in just a moment when we open it up. But once again, we got that stitch in that creates space. Got some beautiful Thule branding right there. Nylon carrying handle. Oh, on the back, it's even got a belt loop. Uh, so if you need to put put this around your belt and kind of walk around with it like a, I don't know, like a fanny pack, I guess, you can do that. Bam! Look at this! Got a space for a pin there, got some dedicated stretchies for, I don't know, power cords. I have an HDMI cable right here. Then right here, I've got a 3.5 millimeter cable to hook up my headphones with. And this little mesh pouch, I have like some extra techie kind of stuff. Flash drives, multi-drives, and stuff like that. Let's put all those back in there because they're in the mesh pouch because I don't want to fly them all over the place. Now, on the back side of this thing, I have two items. Okay, three items. Got my mouse here. Let's put that back inside of there. Then we got my portable charger. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use that slit on the back. So basically, if you need to charge your phone while you're on the go, you can go ahead and stick that thing right through there. Pull it through, just like such. And you can actually close this. Let's go ahead and close it for real, for real. And then you can actually have this on your person and then you can plug in your phone and, and walk around with your phone on the outside while your charge is on the inside. Now let's get this thing open again because I ain't done showing y'all the goodies. So there's a dedicated space for headphones. Now this space right here is really versatile because either A, you can put your headphones like I've got mine in here. These are the Sony XM3s. You can put them inside the pouch if you want or you can lay them over the pouch. If you got headphones that actually fold up and they're small enough, they can fit inside of the pouch as a whole just like that. I usually travel with multiple sets of headphones. That's why I've got my Samsung headphones right here. So let me pull this cord through real quick, close this bad boy up. That way you can see what it looks like. The Subterra Power Shuttle Plus. I'm digging this bag, man. This is definitely a favorite of mine. All right then, Mr. and Mrs. Nosy Pants. Now you've been all up in my stuff, but best of all, you got to experience some of the Tule Subterra lineup. Now they have so many other bags in the uh, Subterra lineup. Uh, hopefully I get to check all of them out, but this is just three of my one to get my hands on real quick. You got the Subterra Duffel, and you got the Power Shuttle, and you got the toiletry bag. So look, I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff. Well, wait a minute, this is bags. I am an expert on bags, respect it. But before I get out of here, if you had a good time hanging out with me during this video, you make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section, and I'll see y'all at the next one.